Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. I hope everyone's having a good week so far. Let's get straight into it, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so I'm just going to shuffle up for a little bit here. But while I do that, I just want to remind you all that this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also the energies are fluid. So this may not be something that will happen necessarily today. It could be something that happened in the past. It could be something coming on down the line. It could be something that doesn't happen for you at all. But good thing to do would be just to, pay, just to listen, hang out with us. And you, I'm, sure, I'm sure you can get, gain some good nuggets of knowledge. Yeah, that would be awesome. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I am doing a sale for all my Instagram followers. Um, 20% off general freestyle readings. So just go ahead and follow me and then shoot me a DM and ask, saying you want to take advantage of the sale and I'll get you all set up. My Instagram handle is at divine underscore conversations. Yeah, super, super excited. And also yesterday I did a live video yesterday evening. I did a live video on the full moon energy so go ahead and check that out if you haven't done so already all right tuesday january 15th what's going on spirit so we're halfway through january already time really does fly by <laughs> all right january 15th one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for the day Alrighty, guys, here we go. Best messages, please. Spirit Tuesday, January 15th. Eight of Pentacles. Alright. Knight of Swords. Alright, cool. Ah. And the Five of Pentacles still. Wow. All right. Underneath the deck, we have the hanged man. So things might be feeling a little stuck right now. You might be feeling a little stagnant. You might be feeling a little bit in a precarious position. Um, that just kind of makes sense here just for the energies that we're in right now. The first card that came out is the eight of pentacles. So many of us are very, very focused on our work, our finances, um, but this doesn't have to be like physical work. This also can be, uh, this can be a spiritual work, okay? And that really is, that really could be um, what we're talking about here, especially with it coupled with the hang, hanged man, all right? Um, but there's just, a, there's a bit of suspension going on and that's really allowing us to gain a different perspective. I feel like we've been in this energy for some time, probably since before January started, but um, once January started, I think it really, that's when it really like settled in. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Um, and so but what I'm picking up here is that this work that we're doing has to do with communicating the truth, um, being authentic, be as, being as authentic as possible and releasing any sort of feelings of lack, uh, mentality, being left out in the cold. You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Five of Pentacles here. So there's definitely some energies of, maybe you might feel left out in the cold. Um, you might feel kind of broke. <laughs> and that makes sense too, because, um, you know, we just came out of the holiday season and, you know, a lot of money was spent. So that makes perfect sense. But here, let's see what else we have here. We have the Fool in reverse now. The Fool has been coming out quite a bit lately, but this time lately, this time it's in the, in the reverse. Um, so, okay. 
So for a lot of us, what's happening is we are going through a period where we're about to embark on a brand new journey. There may be some things with the Knight of Swords, there may be some things that some of you need to clear up, maybe some loose, tie up some loose ends. Um, yeah, you may need to tie up some loose ends before you can actually go on this journey. Now, the Fool is in reverse, and to me, that's just saying that um, there's a little bit of a blockage. You haven't quite started yet hasn't quite gotten off the ground yet but the fool is here nonetheless okay so that means that there is a new a brand new start that is here on the horizon it just it oh that's funny it just may not have fully started yet or fully materialized yet it's and this has been coming out actually with the readings that i've been doing lately there we're kind of like in this a lot of people are in this in between energy of in between worlds um, and so between the hanged man upright and the fool in reverse and if you look the hanged man is upside down the fool is in reverse so it's almost so they're kind of like mirroring each other there that's kind of cool but there it's like this this almost like a limbo area you're in between the past and the future which that is always the case because in between those is the present but it's like you're in between your past life or whatever it was you know whatever circumstances were a part of that life you're in between that and the new cycle okay so it really might feel really weird really precarious now moving forward we have the four of wands the five of cups the queen of cups moon child the knight of pentacles and the star all right so um, let me take this. I'm going to put this up here for now so that I can move these here. So this is a good thing, okay? Now, first of all, what is what this is being said, what is, what is being said here is that um, you have, there's a good foundation at play here, all right? There's a lot of good work that has been done. Um, you know, you, a, a celebration, it, if you want to celebrate, go right ahead. Um, if you want to congratulate yourself, you know, if you want to take a little break and, and just enjoy, you know, the fruits of your labor so far, go right ahead. But the Four of Wands, the message of the Four of Wands is that this is not a time to rest on your laurels, okay? Yes, you have, re you have, me you have a reason to celebrate, but um, this is not... It's not the time to slack off, really. There's still work that needs to be done, okay? And so with that said, you have the Five of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I really feel like a lot of what's coming through with this is the fact that, you know, there's a lot, there's been a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's been a lot of emotional stuff that has happened lately, and you may still be kind of mourning that, all that energy, all right? But um, this is, especially with the Queen of Cups, this is energies of feeling compassionate, um, understanding, empathy, uh, telepathy, psychic ability, but keeping, keeping your, what I'm getting with this right now is keeping your emotions in check, keeping your emotions grounded and, um, You're not, you're just not allowing yourself to get over emotional, but that doesn't mean that you're not experiencing your emotions. You're not feeling your emotions. You're not moving through them. It's just the queen of cups is very much, she's very in, in control of her emotions and she doesn't often let people see what's going on with her unless, you know, she's really close with these people. But you can, you can see this as like, the, the, the final purge, even though you have the four of wands here, there is a final stage of, or a final um, experience, yeah, a final stage of purging that's, that, that you're really going through. Doesn't mean you're, you're gonna stop purging forever. But in, in terms of moving into this new reality, moving into this new manifestation, this new cycle in your life, there is like a final stage. And that has everything to do with the the moon, okay. You have moon child here. This is one of the uh, one of the unique cards of this deck. Moon child talks about the moon cycles and what we're learning from them and how we can learn and grow from them. We're definitely experiencing a major moon cycle because we have this full moon coming up on the twentieth to the twenty first of January, and it also is going to be 
a super moon and a blood moon because it's a total lunar eclipse. So full moon energies are intense anyway. This time, first full moon of the year is a doozy, <laughs> okay? Now, with that said, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? Especially if you really want, if you really want this new beginning to be as long lasting and solid and stable as you would hope or as one would hope, you have to give it time to develop, okay? And that's a little bit of what the Five of Pentacles is talking about here. There's a little bit of fear as to whether or whether this is going to manifest or not. And you just have to give it the time, all right? Don't throw yourself out in the cold. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> And then finally, you have the star, especially coupled with the Knight of Pentacles here. Wish fulfillment is at hand, but also very, very deep clearing and healing is go is at play right now, okay? And that does take time. Think about it this way. A friend of mine, a very good friend of mine who is a shaman, put up a meme um, on Facebook not too long ago about how... Um, your wounds did not all happen at once. They happened over time. They happened over lifetimes also. So don't expect to every for everything to just be healed all at once. It's not gonna happen that way. You have to take the time and do the work, right? So that's what we're saying here, kids. All right, slow and steady wins the race. Your healing is at hand, says the universe. All you have to do is let it happen. And the biggest thing that you would want, that you would need to do <clears throat> is to allow yourself to gain this new perspective because it's the new perspective that's really going to help you learn the lessons. So if you are feeling stuck or stagnant, stop fighting it. It's like quicksand. The more you fight it, or like a Chinese finger trap, the more you fight it, the, 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 the more you sink into the sand, or the more stuck your fingers get. You have to just relax and go with the flow, okay? Some of you really are fighting this new point of view. Now, for whatever reason, I mean, that's personal, you know, I'm not gonna tap into that, but I mean, you would, you would, you would know, and if you are not quite sure, the cycles right now, the energies right now, are helping you or, or giving you a window to look into these situations. But some of you are, in fact, fighting. I can see that with the hanged man. Not wanting to see things differently for fear of what you might find out, potentially. For fear of what you might experience moving forward. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I mean, there are some things you're probably going to have to clear up. And if that's what you're afraid of, don't fear. You know, everything is and you are not you are not given anything that you can't handle okay the universe is not going to give you anything or god is not going to put you through anything that you aren't capable of handling okay so there's that <laughs> all right so i'm going to get some clarification now and i want to start i don't know where i want to start you guys <laughs> I really don't. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll start with the energies on the left here, because this is okay. So what's on the left is what's happening, you know, on an individual, more of an individual basis, or more of a focused basis, so zoomed in. The what's happening on the right is what's is the zoom out. Okay. So you. So on the left here, we have the more focused energy of the Four of Wands, Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, Moon Child, Knight of Pentacles, and the Star. So let's get let's get some clarification there. All right, here we go. Hmm. I think the deck is. The devil. Okay. Ooh, wow. 
All right, underneath the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So we have the Five of Cups twice here. So within this energy, there's a lot of mourning going on. Um, and wow. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of mourning going on. Some of you are coming out of a tower moment. Some of you may have dodged a tower, a bullet and, and, and dodged a tower moment. But I, I, I think that for the most part, this is about yeah, the tower in reverse. We're coming out. We're healing from a tower moment. Um, for a lot of us, there was a social situation that was just toxic. Just toxic. Um, but this also can say, this can be, you know, this tower moment that we're coming out of has, re has helped us or has given us some insight as to some devilish activity. This could be a Capricorn, but we're not really looking at the signs here. Okay, now, all of this also could be leading to, we have the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Cups also could be talking about celebration, uh, a union between body, mind, and spirit. And especially with um, all of the self-love that we've been working on, that we've been practicing, that many of us as readers have been preaching, there's been a lot of momentum around building that, filling your own cup, right? It could have been uh, third-party situations, social situations, toxic social situations that kept you from really honoring or loving yourself the way you know you need to. Um, But there is a light that's been shown on these toxic situations. And we really are in the end of coming out of a tower moment. Now, also what this is saying is you might have a little bit of a devil in your ear right now talking about trying to get you to fall back into what the tower helped you to break away from, okay? Don't let that happen. It's so funny because what I'm seeing with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups here this this takes you this this makes a four right this makes the four of cups and then you have the five of cups there that's kind of cool so that's kind of a progression but what I'm seeing with this three of cups here is there's a lot of solitary energy and it this isn't normally a solitary card it's very much a social card it's about having fun going out with friends having parties blah 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 but here for some reason, I feel, I'm feel i feeling, what I'm getting from this Three of Cups energy is just being very solitary. So that reinforces the energy of the union between body, mind, and spirit that is then coagulated. I don't, I don't know if that's not probably not the right, right, the right word for it, but then that's also represented here. It all comes together into one with the Ace of Cups. So if you, f if you need to just be on your own right now, if you need to be solitary, if you need to go into a little bit of a shell, go ahead, allow your, and it's the devil that would say to you, no, you can't do that. No, you shouldn't do that. That's wrong. That's bad. That's the devil is your ego here. Okay. The devil is also, yeah, the devil is your ego here as you're coming out of this tower moment, as you're kind of stuck in this precarious position. It's giving you all, it's, it's your ego like putting all this fear into you. Now, your ego just needs to be aligned if that's the case. If your ego is running amok, just bring it back into alignment. You don't have to eradicate it. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to silence it. And your ego is an intrinsic part of you. And it was given to us originally so that it can help protect us. It's like that guardian, okay? That extra line of defense. Just bring it into alignment, respect it because it is you and work with it. You know, just allowing, we can't allow the ego to run amok any, anymore. We can't really allow, allow anything to run amok anymore, you know? So now, let's clarify these larger energies here. So this is the, this is the, this is the more, um, focus energy but here on the right this is the larger energy the major cycle this is we're entering into a brand new cycle a brand new situation a brand new reality with the fool here in reverse there are still some things that are being cut out of the way okay with the knight of swords maybe some tying like i said tying up some loose ends for some of you maybe some last bits of communication that need to be had um, some of you may even be really working on telling your story throughout this, but ultimately there is still work being done to 
get into this cycle. A big part of what needs to be purged or released from this cycle is lack mentality with this five of pentacles here, okay? But let's get some clarification on this energy, please, spirit. Whoa, 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 whoa. All of that just fell on the floor. All right, King of Swords is on the bottom of the deck there. That actually is a very comforting sight, especially with the Seven of Cups here and the Nine of Wands. So let's talk about this first, and then we have some others that we'll talk about in a second. <clears throat> the King of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Wands, all right? So there's a lot of illusion around you right now. There could be a lot of confusion also. Um, and, you know, if, it, if that's not bad enough, you know, you're coming out of a really rough situation. Many of us are and um, you're feeling battered and bruised, probably a bit tired, but you're needing to just persevere, just keep swimming, okay? With the King of Swords energy, that's gonna help you break through a lot of the illusion. And what's coming up right now, I'm feeling for a lot of you, is like this last ditch effort, maybe for the ego to try and get you to stay where you are instead of moving into this new, sec uh, new uh, cycle or a new reality could also be the effort of some sort of like handlers, whether those be physical or, um, or non-physical, you know, trying to keep you in the same frame of mind that you've been in, or just um, spiritual warfare type energy, trying to keep, trying to distract you, trying to get you to forget what you've learned potentially, all right? Don't let that happen. Maintain that ob objectivity and the logical aspect of things with the knight with, i'm sorry with the king of swords all right let's see what else ah that's beautiful ten of swords ace of wands knight of cups two of wands Ooh, two of cups and the seven of wands in reverse well first of all the ten of swords is a beautiful sight the ten of swords the ace of wands and the knight of cups is a very very gorgeous is a great Thing. Now, the Knight of Cups doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is coming through to give you <clears throat> an offer of love. Often this is creative expression. And that to me is what the Knight of Cups has been speaking about lately, okay? You are breaking out of a cycle that has kept you held down, all right? You're breaking out of the cycle. You're ending the, you're ending, the worst is behind you, okay? You're ending all of this shit. You've got the Ace of Wands. You are inspired and many of you actively do want to get moving okay but wait look at this here's the progression you went from the ace of wands now to the two of wands so the two of wands with the two of cups that's beautiful two two many of us have been seeing twos a lot lately two 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 well all that stuff it's 22 minutes on the counter right now <laughs> but <laughs> but you have the two of cups and the two of wands. So there's a balance between masculine and feminine that's coming into play here. This is your own inner balance, okay? The, um, and I feel like this is the biggest part of the holdup right now. Um, what The biggest factor that is leading to this hanged man energy is, is, is solidifying this balance between masculine and feminine. The union, the unity within. I mean, we have union coming through in both on both sides, union cards, union energies. You have the three of cups here, and which is which is speaking to the union of body, mind, and spirit. And then in the overall, the larger picture, you have the the, the divine union of masculine and feminine coming together. Okay. With that, you have a choice to be made. All right, because you were at and it's and as this as this union deepens. Okay, as these wounds heal and you release and you move away from the past with the Ten of Swords here, and as this union deepens, you are then faced with a fork in the road. Which direction do you want to go in? And it's this union of masculine and feminine within that's going to help you figure out or decipher or decide which is the best path to take. Seven of Wands in reverse. This is blockages coming down. Um, for a while, this was boundaries. Talking, We were talking about the Seven of Wands was putting up boundaries. But here, this is blockages being removed out of the way. Very much Ganesha style, right? Lord Ganesh. 
things that you thought were going, obstacles that you thought were always going to be there are magically, mysteriously just kind of disappearing now. But that has everything to do with this balance within. It was because of the imbalance and all the fears and stuff that you had, that had been adopted from the past that was keeping you from moving forward, that was leaving, keeping those barriers in place, okay? All right, so... Instead of the animal spirit cards, today I'm being called to get some oracle guidance from the unicorns, and then I'm going to close the reading with the crystal mandala deck. All right, one more shuffle here. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit, for today. Receive. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Adventure. All right. Underneath the deck, we have balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. Set boundaries with your work. And, we, and a good boundary that we need to work on setting right now as a collective is... Um, being playful, having time to play. If you're not, if you're not able to play and get connected with that inner child, then you need to get on that because that is going to be so incredibly helpful for you moving forward. Okay. We have receive, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming soon. And actually this card came out during happy hour last night for the general energy update, which is fantastic. And finally, you have adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. And actually, I really feel like that is what's happening here with the hanged man. Okay? We are doing things. We are wanting to do things differently. We're being led. We're being guided to do things differently. So there are still some loose ends that need to be tied up while we get into that mode, okay? So let's close out the reading here with Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala. And I just want to get one card today. Just one card today. All right, Spirit. Best message, please, for today, Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. There it is. Ooh, card number 12, Angel Raziel and Pietrasite. Storm Wisdom. So this definitely is a card that talks about... Um, learning through the storm, okay? Learning, gaining the wisdom of being in a storm. Uh, card number 12 uh, boils down to a three, and already I'm, I'm picking up energies of body, mind, and spirit, the three of cups. The three of cups can also look, be seen as um, masculine. Just because it's three, it can be seen as masculine, feminine, and inner child, like I've been channeling with the 10 of cups from this deck, which is a mother, father, and a baby. Um, but three is the angel, or is a, a number of the ascended masters. Uh, it's a number of mastery, of um, of, of teamwork, um, and so it's all. It's about using all of these different outlets that you have, especially all of the 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 the, sto the shit storms, the fire storms that you've been through, to gain wisdom. Okay, we bring you the gift of storm wisdom. This is the fierce cleansing nature of divine compassion made manifest in the world. Storm wisdom thrills the spirit for it understands that so much benefit and liberation will come from the process. Yet the mind may quake at the pr prospect of such little control over how your life events are unfolding for a time. What is happening during an experience of storm wisdom is that anything that has become stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth will be uprooted. You may find that the divine storm of transformation powering through your life creates a feeling of upheaval, creative chaos, uncertainty, and excitement. And excitement. You may feel simultaneously liberated and exhilarated whilst also wondering if everything's going to be okay. You, re you must remember that you will only be asked to give up something in order to receive that which is far more beautiful and supportive of your sacred life journey. 
you must also remember that the cleansing power of the storm re will revitalize you, bringing you fresh energy and perspective to take forward in your journey and is, divinely, and is a divine blessing which will only bring good into your life. That's pretty beautiful, guys. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, look out for me. I am going to be on Instagram later. I'm going to put like a, a daily Instagram reading up there. And I'm most likely going to go live later on this evening. Yeah. But have a great day, guys. Much love to you. And I look forward to, and I will see you later. Like I just said. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.